What is happening guys, it's your boy TCK and I'm going to be coming with a tutorial on how to open up the Pack-a-Punch room on the Shadows of Evil map on Black Ops 3. So what I like to do first is open up that gate right here in the spawn area, then we're going to have to run back and turn into the beast. After you turn into the beast, I like to hit this door because sometimes there's an instant kill or a times two or a max ammo back there. And then toggle, toggle and hit that box right there, then run right into the junction and then you're going to want to hit this power right here. And then we're going to grapple up here and then just follow what I'm doing. There's a lot of steps into doing this, so I mean it's not necessarily hard, it's just there's so much to remember. So then you're going to want to just toggle this power on and then just turn back into the human. So what I'm basically doing here is just trying to kill the zombies and stack up a few points because you're going to really need Quick Revive and Jug if you're doing this by yourself. So you can see I'm just grabbing Quick Revive really quick and then you're going to have to pick up the summoning key right here that we hit the first box with with the, with the beast. Then run right into the junction and then there's going to be a pen that dropped after you hit the crane's power. So then, gatekeepers will appear after you picked up that pen. There's only two of them that appear. They're very easy to kill because it's, it's the early round, it's only round two. So then run, run, run right back into the spawn area, and they're going to run through the easy street door, and then we're going to run right into the ritual room. And then we're going to begin the first ritual. All you're going to have to do is just set down the components that you picked up, and then begin the ritual. Once you begin the ritual, you could see that the gatekeepers will appear, and there's going to be more than two. So there's gonna be a few, like about there's gonna be some they, they just keep appearing basically and you're just gonna want to run around in a circle and then you can try to train them, train them or you can just try to stay away from them. It's only round two, so they're really not gonna be able to hit you because they're not coming as fast as they will in like the later rounds. So once the guy's summoned, everybody gets basically, basically killed and then there's gonna be a worm that appears. There's gonna be a worm that always appears after every ritual is complete. There's gonna be four that we're gonna have to need total. So, let's, so we're just going to move on. We're going to just jump out of here and then just jump right down into the junction. And we're going to move on to the second so ritual. So for the second ritual, guys, we're going to run into the footlight district. And then we're going to turn into the beast right here. And then just follow what I'm doing. So I'm just not opening these things up. And then you're going to want to just grapple up here. And then you're going to want to turn this power on right here. And open this up right here so then you can you can be able to access this whenever and then just jump right up here and then there's gonna be this box up here that you're gonna have to knock off and then just return into human form and then you'll see the little little hair piece that's right there so you're just gonna collect that and pick that up and then the gatekeepers will appear again only two of them again they get stronger and stronger as the rounds go on but they're still easy to kill okay guys so then we're just gonna run up these steps right here and then we're going to run up here and then just open up this gate and make our way to the theater for the second ritual. So what you're going to have to do here is turn into the beast right here. And then just follow as I'm doing. Just grapple all the way up to here. And then you're going to want to turn on the power right here. And then return it to human form again. And then we're going to just run into the theater room and then this is where the second ritual is going to go down. So, I mean, same thing, you're going to put the components down again, and then the gatekeepers are going to reappear again. So, I mean, just try to run around and stay stay alive. Try not to go down, because when you go down, you're going to you're gonna have to redo the whole thing over again. So, I mean, you can see here, I'm just trying to fend them off. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, rec I mean, you could also do that, I mean, because it's still an early round. It's still the third round, so they're, not gonna, they're still not coming at us as hard as they would be if it was a later round. So, I mean, just try to stay away from them like I'm doing right here. Uh, and then after that, after the guy gets summoned, you can see that they all die again. And then the, the second worm is going to appear. So then just grab the second worm and then that's the second step. Two more rituals to go. Oh yeah, and guys, after you complete two rituals, a Ragwar or the three-headed monster or whatever you want to call him will appear. So, I mean, he's very, very easy to take down. I mean... Don't think that it's hard to take him down. You just got to shoot him in the yellow eye that's going to be open like that. After you shoot him the first time in this first eye, he's going to start running at you. And then it's very easy to take him down. So just try not to get close to him because if he hits, if he pounds on the floor while you're near him, you're going to go down instantly. So, I mean, just try to keep some distance away from him and just shoot at those eyes. Okay, guys, for the third ritual, just run back into the junction. And then we're, now we're going to head to the canal district. So now we're going to go have to find the detective's badge. So I don't know what I'm doing right here. I'm just fending out these zombies, I guess. And then just open up the door and then you're going to pick up the beast to the right side. So this one right here. And then just follow what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump down to like the underground water road or whatever the hell you want to call it. And then you're going to want to open all these right here as I'm doing. 
turn this power on and then run up these stairs right here and then just grapple up to the I think whatever the hell this is I think it's like a nightclub or like a strip club I mean whatever the hell you want to call it and then turn the power on and then just go back into human form and then you're gonna want to go back down into that like underground water row, road or whatever the hell it is and then you're gonna pick up the detective's badge and then the gatekeepers will reappear again so I mean they're still very very easy to kill a few bullets nothing crazy so then you're gonna want to run right back up these stairs and go back into that nightclub or whatever the hell it is so that's gonna be where the third ritual is going to be at so guys we're gonna just run into this like nightclub room or whatever and then the third ritual is gonna be right here so you know just put the components down again and you guys already know that the gatekeepers are gonna reappear again so I mean just try to run around still they're still very very easy to kill so I mean just try not going down I mean that's the that's the main thing just try not to go down so I'm just running around and then I'm pretty I'm kind of training them I guess uh, it takes a few minutes for the guy to get summoned. It takes so long sometimes, it feels like it's forever. So, I mean, once the guy gets summoned, the third worm will appear, and then we're going to have one one left, obviously. So, let's grab the third worm, and now we're going to head to the junction to finish the last ritual. Okay, guys, so now it's time for the fourth and final ritual. What we're going to do is run into the waterfront district. So, just open up the gate. Make sure you guys have money because you're going to have to open up two gates. So just run all the way into the back and then there's going to be that other gate that's going to appear right here to the right. So just open up this gate right here. And then you're going to want to turn into the beast once again. And then just toggle up and grapple up onto there. And then you're going to want to grapple right, up, right across from it. And there's the box right there holding the, the championship belt for the final ritual. And then just run all the way down here like I'm doing so you can open up the room to where you're going to place the belt and then complete the ritual. So guys, once you guys turn back into human form, just run down the stairs and go pick up the championship belt that fell, uh, that fell out of the box. And then the gatekeepers are going to reappear again. Just take them out. I mean, still very easy to kill. And then just run all the way back down here by where the boat's going to be at. And then this is going to be where the final ritual is going to be. Yeah, it's, it's like an Easter egg hunt, really, but in zombies. It's kind of, it's not really, it, yeah, it is actually kind of confusing if it's going to be your very first time. You're going to want to, like, stop and pause the video and make sure you know what you're doing. So, yeah, I'm still running around in circles, just trying to keep away from the gatekeepers. Just, yeah, just try not going down. I mean, because if you do go down, the whole ritual is going to have to start again. And you guys can see that I have Jug and Quick Revive, and you don't want to lose those perks while you're doing this. Because those are going to be a very, very big help. So, I mean, just keep running around. Just try to stay away from those gatekeepers. They get annoying as shit, but... It just makes it more challenging. So, I mean, the last summoning is complete, and then I'm going to just be grabbing the last worm. After you guys grab the last worm, guys, just head right back to the junction. Okay, guys, so like I said before, after you complete two rituals, Aragor, or whatever the hell his name is, is going to reappear. And it's still fairly easy to take him down, so just shoot him in the yellow eye that's always open. And after you complete that part, after you take him down, just run back to the junction. Okay guys, so now that we're back in the junction, we're going to run to the canal district. And we're going to run down to like that water under underground water like railroad or whatever. Okay guys, so we're going to just jump down onto, into the underground water railroad or whatever. And we're going to open up this rift. And then we're going to just travel through it. So once you do that, gatekeepers are going to appear. And there's going to be this weird writing on the wall. Yeah, I almost got trapped here. I got kind of lucky. I would have been very, very irritated if that would have gone down. That would have been fucking annoying. So this writing is going to be written on the wall. You're just going to have to hold square or whatever if you're playing on Xbox. I don't even know what the button is. So, I mean, once you get into here, there's going to be a bunch of gatekeepers and then there's going to be some, some zombies that are going to be following you. So after you're going to do that, you're going to just set down all the worms on these, like, on these, like, stands. And there's no way that you, there's no, like, special way you got to put them down. You can put them down however you want. Once you set those down, this wall is going to, like, appear and you're going to have to run on it. It's pretty cool how they, like, they, they incorporated that in here. So then after you do that, just watch out for the zombies that are still trying to take you down and then just set the last piece down. And after you do that, it's going to like start making this like cool noise or whatever. And then just try to fend off all these zombies until everything is complete. So then you're going to want to just jump down here. And then the last piece you got to put down is, is that 
I don't even know what it is. I think it's the summoning key. Yep, it's the summoning key. So just after you sit down a summoning key, just run around and just try not going down. Because, I mean, it's getting ready to, like, open up the Pack-a-Punch thing, as you can see. So as you guys can see, I'm just trying to hold off all these zombies. I'm really trying not to go down because, I mean, it took so much work to just get here. So, I mean, I'm just trying to, like, stay away from all these zombies and just run around until the whole thing opens up. And, like, the bag of bunch thing is ready to use. Because, I mean, it kills everybody that's in the room, as you guys can see, with the dramatic music that was playing. So, I mean, now that it's open, guys, I mean, you guys just, I mean, I just walked you guys through how to basically do the whole thing. And I hope it was very helpful for you guys and it's very easy to do for you guys now. So, I mean, I put my gun in here and then I got trapped by a bunch of zombies and I almost died. So there you go guys, that's how you're going to open up the Pack-a-Punch room in the Shadows of the Old Map on Black Ops 3. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to please like and subscribe and also leave a comment. Thanks for watching guys. Ya boys out.